Okay, boys, we're going to make a start. Um, thank you all for making the effort this afternoon. I know you're all really busy with exams and assignments at the moment, but it's really important that we um, acknowledge um, your achievements as best we can in what's been an unprecedented year. Uh, at this time, I'd like to acknowledge and welcome the headmaster, Mr. Morrison, and the di director of sport, Mr. Greve. Um, thank you both for your attendance this afternoon. Um, and also, we've got most of the coaching staff here this afternoon, which is excellent. Um, it, it's unfortunate that the current climate has prevented your parents and the IGS football community as a whole from joining us to celebrate the 2020 football season this year. But we're pleased that our presentation this afternoon is being live streamed and we want to welcome all parents, um, in, in particular the parents of the Year 12s uh, who are joining us this afternoon and say thank you for all of your support. Um, for your boys this year and obviously, um, especially the year 12s as we said, um, in acknowledgement of your football journeys here at IGS. Uh, this afternoon we're going to present the first 11 awards for 2020 obviously. Shouldn't take too long, hopefully 20 minutes, half an hour and we'll be out of here. Um, we'll also be acknowledging members of the first 11 squad who were selected in the 2020 IGS Most in Improved Football Team of the Year, along with acknowledging boys who received a major trophy in each of their year levels. Um, each year level, as you probably know, um, receives a Player of the Year award and it's awarded to a player in recognition of their outstanding IGS football season. This doesn't just include their first 11 performances, obviously uh, what they've done in their own age group is taken into account as well. So we've actually got three of the boys that have received uh, the major awards for their respective year levels. Uh, in here with us today. So, um, Mr. Groove, can you pop down and present some for me, please? I might need you now, Mark, too, please. All right, so, uh, first of all, we've got uh, the Year 9, hold on, the Year 9 Slater and Thompson Trophy is awarded to Henry Blackledge. Front one. And we'll have time for photos at the end and stuff as well, boys. Uh, the Year 10 Moss and Keen Shield is awarded to Liam Green. And the Year 11 Prasser and Lowe Trophy is awarded to Daniel Kavakovic. get you to just stay there for a second, Mr. Groove. Uh, next, we have two boys who were selected in the IGS Football Most Improved Team of the Year. So the t Most Improved Team of the Year is compiled by myself and all the head coaches from the various year levels, and every year we try to have one or two from the first 11 squad uh, to be acknowledged for their fantastic improvement as footballers throughout the year. And for 2020, we've got Ethan Fraser, Well done, mate. And Isaac Bracker. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Mr. Greve. You can have a seat if you wish. Um, we're now going to move on to the first 11 presentations. So we've got a plaque and a little goodie bag up here for all of you. Headmaster, could I ask you to, to assist with the presentations, please? All right. So we're going in number order. So number one was Declan Wenzel Halls. Um, unfortunately, Declan can't be with us today, but I obviously want to acknowledge his time and his fantastic contribu contribution for, to IGS football for three years now. Um, Declan this year has also been the recipient of the 2020 Goalkeeper of the Year, and he's actually the first person ever in IGS football history to receive it twice. So it's a fantastic achievement for Declan. Um, moving on, number three, Isaac Bracker. Number four, Dang. Number five, Daniel Kavakovic.
Number seven, uh, number seven David Ashimwi. Number eight, Ryan Styler. Number nine, Ethan Fraser. Number 11, Pat Smith. Number 12, Baden Larkin. Number 13, Elijah Vincent Tooth. Uh, number 14 was Jared Bloor. He can't make, us, make it today either. Unfortunately, he's off doing his driving exam, which we're all excited about, I'm sure. Uh, number 15, Toby Smith. Number 16, Luca Merkovic. Number 17, Bo Brebner. Number 18, Sher Deng. Number 19, Logan Harmer. Number 20, Henry Blackledge. Number 21, Liam Green. Number 22, Callan Van Walsam. Number 23, Kai Van Walsam. Number 24, Piper Smart. And we just got a little special mention for Pipes because also in his bag is the 10A Spirit Award, which was voted by his coach, so well done, mate. Uh, 25, Lockie Pye. Uh, number 10, Vice Captain Daryl Barton. And number six, Captain Cooper Nichols. Thank you, Headmaster. I might get you back up in a minute. Um, I'd now like to invite Coops up, please, to say a few words. Uh, good afternoon, Headmaster, Mr. Greaves, coaching staff and boys. Uh, the 2020 IGS football season, although not going as planned, has been a great success with us seeing some fantastic results among plenty individual talent. Firstly, I'd like to thank the headmaster and the senior leadership team for your ongoing support of the First Eleven football team. It is always fantastic to have you supporting our team every week. I'd like to thank Mr. Akit. All of your hard work behind the scenes does not go unseen. Week in, week out, you walk into the change room and the jerseys are always washed and hung up perfectly. You supply endless amounts of bananas and Powerade, and who can forget about the halftime rollers? The list goes on. You, you make the whole squad's job that much easier, and we're all grateful for it. Next, I'd like to thank Mark Pearson. Every time I look at him, he has a massive smile on his face, especially when he sees that Buddha or Declan need some strapping. All jokes aside, it's always been a pleasure to have you around. Without you and your rub downs, the change room wouldn't be the same. I'd now like to thank Mr. August. I don't know where to start with you. You have single-handedly created the most memories for me throughout my first 11 career. Whether it be the endless amount of facts you know about everything, or the world-famous quotes you pass on to us. I'll miss walking around the school, seeing you, and receiving the classic salute, or the my man. The squad, the squad appreciates everything you do. Uh, I would like to thank the First 11 coaching staff, firstly Andrew Catton, for dedicating countless hours of your time for the squad's benefit. From coaching the mighty eight A's to the current First 11 squad, We've all grown and learned so much from you, and our gratitude can't be expressed. 
even when you have us doing Malcolm's on a holiday or sprints up the hill of the bottom oval, the whole squad really appreciates it. I'd like to thank Joe Duckworth for his inspiring words of wisdom. Throughout the years you've been involved with the boys, it's always been a pleasure, especially in World Cup when you and your counterpart Alex join in and lose to the dominant duo of Dang and Sher. But as you would say, that's cricket. I'd like to thank Alex Parsons, yeah, in his absence, for not only his coaching brilliance, but his guidance on and off the field. Also as captain when I was in the grade, in grade nine in the squad. It was good playing with you this year during training, even though you can't seem to keep your legs closed. Now I'd personally like to thank the IGS football community and the football support group, as well as all the boys I've played with in my eight years of IGS football. I've made so many memories through IGS football. We always find ourselves talking about it almost every lunchtime. Whether it be the South East Queensland tournament in grade five and getting our goal disallowed, or being the first team to win the grade six premiership, or a stellar grade nine season, highlighted by a last second winner by Buddha at the back post against our main rivals, Brisbane State High. And how could I forget my first goal around against Terrace this year, when the ball went in, I looked up to see all the boys going mental. It's something I probably won't forget. So full credit goes out to the boys. So I'd just like to thank everyone again on uh, my RGS football career. Thank you. Thanks, Coops. Good job, mate. Alrighty. Um, we will now move on to the first four rounds of voting for the Robbie Young Memorial. So, for those of you who aren't aware, at the end of every game, uh, all the coaching staff put in a 3-2-1, and then that gets um, compiled throughout the season. So, first four games. Round one, two-all draw against Gregory Terrace. One point, Ryan Styler. Two points, Sher Dang. Three points, Cooper Nichols. Round two, 4-1 win against State High. One point, David Ashimwe. Two points, Buddha. Three points, Cooper Nichols. Round three, <laughs> one all against BGS. Uh, one point, Declan Wenzel Halls. Two points, Isaac Bracker on debut. Very good game. Uh, and three points, Cooper Nichols. Round four. A 2-1 win against Toowoomba. One point, David Ashimwe. Two points for Ryan Styler. And three points, Cooper Nichols. So that's the first four rounds. Uh, before we get on to the players, player, recipient, and the last couple of rounds, I'd like to invite the headmaster up to say a few words, please, sir. You've got to be happy with that, Cooper. Goodness, mate. Afternoon, boys, colleagues, parents at home. Um, I just have two things to say, really. I played a fair bit of football, had a lot of coaches during the time I played, and I have to say to you that in all my time of playing, I actually had one decent coach. I mean, it sounds a bit harsh, but it's actually true. Um, and I hope you boys appreciate what you have around you in the, the management support, the coaching support, and, of course, Mr Catton. Uh, because they're all really top quality men, you know, they, they know what they're on about, but more importantly, they actually care about you as guys and your development into young men. So uh, my recognition and thanks, Mr Catton and the rest of the team here today for your work, which has been absolutely tireless. Boys, secondly, um, it's interesting, of course, we're sitting here in the Great Hall today in this place, you know, we, when you set aside the bricks and mortar and the, the honour boards, it's actually about... It's about an attitude and it's about a feeling and it's about a commitment to something which is the history of the school and the traditions of the school and that's why Mr Catton chose to have us in here today. And I need to acknowledge to you boys your contribution to our school, to the history of the school and the history of sport in this school. The football program at Ipswich Grammar School in the certainly the last three or four years has to be the strongest program in GPS at all. Now, that doesn't mean that every year we win the Premiership, of course. We found this year that winning the Premiership is extremely difficult and you need a lot of luck to go your way as, go your way as well. But I think, Mr Cat, I'm correct in saying, across all the A teams and the first 11, uh, the results by IGS football in the last two years have placed us number one out of the nine GPS schools. And that's not an accident, boys, as you all know. That's about having 
really good processes, really good coaching, really good support, but most importantly, boys who are on the field willing to give 100% for their mates and 100% for their school. The one thing I know about watching the first 11 football in this place and my time here has been not once have I seen the team give up. Not once have I seen the team not give well over 100%. And that continues to be the case. That is a fantastic uh, history and reputation that you boys have contributed. Some of you for five or six years in our place playing top class football. And that's what the little guys in year five and year six and year seven A football teams, that's what they live up to and want to live up to in the future. So my thanks to you for being outstanding representatives of our school and giving so much um, to football in our place in your time. Thanks very much for the opportunity to speak, Mr Catton, too. Thanks, boys. OK, thank you, Headmaster. Again, we really appreciate your ongoing support of the football program here. We know it's a sport you enjoy. <laughs> All righty, um, we're now going to move on to the Players' Player Award. Obviously, in my opinion, it's the most prestigious award you can win. Um, because there should be no greater honour for the recipient to um, be voted by his peers and his teammates as being the best player in the team. Uh, Headmaster, I might get you to present this one again, please, sir. All righty, so third place, 24 votes, was Buddha. Second place, 33 votes, was Cooper. First place, very well deserved, 35 votes, Ryan Styler. Well done, mate. Um, and while I think about it, the one thing I do want to pay tribute today, for the Year 12s especially, for Coops, Ryan and Isaac, correct me if I'm wrong, all of you have played for the school since you were grade five, yeah? All right, and I think to have three boys in a first 11 that have all come through since grade five speaks volumes for this school. And I, I hope you're all very proud of the contribution the three of you have made. And I know we've got a couple of other boys sitting behind you that have been here for a fair while as well, but to be here from grade five and play A's the whole way through and make it to first, and it hasn't been easy for all th three of you with injuries and whatnot. It's a fantastic achievement, so well done to all three of you. Um, we'll now move on to the final rounds, so the last four rounds. Uh, round five, two all draw with Nudgy. One point, Cooper Nichols. Two points, Isaac Brucker. Three points, Buddha. And for me, that was probably the best individual performance of the season too, so well done. Uh, round six, BBC, 3-0 win. One point, Danny Kovakovic. Two points, David Ashimwe. Three points, Isaac Bracker. Uh, round seven, Churchy, 4-2 win. Probably the best game I've seen in GPS football. Unbelievable comeback. Hat-trick, backflips, pretty special. One point. Isaac Bracker, two points, David Ashimwe, three points, Buddha. Round eight, 3-2 loss to Southport. One point, Ryan Styler, two points, Buddha, and three points, Daniel Kovakovic. So, and Headmaster, I'll ask you to pop up again for me, please. The winner of the 2020 Robert Young Memorial Trophy is Cooper Nichols. Uh, again, congratulations, Coops. Thoroughly deserved, um, not only for your performances this year in 2020, but for the previous two seasons before that. I, I said it to most of you after we played uh, Southport, to play three seasons of first 11, 24 games in full, every minute. The captain, 16 of them, is a truly exceptional performance and it's one that I don't think will ever be matched. And if, it's, if it is, it won't be for a while. So congratulations, mate. Well done. Um, finally, from me, uh, a, a really big congratulations to you all on a fantastic season. We had a young group. The way the, the grey shirts bought in was fantastic and the way you boys led at the front was outstanding. Um, I, I've enjoyed my time with you and I know I speak for the other staff and they 
they've, they've had a great year with you as well. It obviously didn't end the way we all wanted it to. And quite literally, with Fraser's goal at the end, we were, we were one decision away from being undefeated. And whilst it's not a premiership, undefeated seasons don't come along very often either. And that would have been a magnificent achievement. Um, for those of you that are, are back next year, uh, you obviously need to continue on your journey to leave the jersey in a better place than when you got it. All of you this year, you, you've contributed to something that's really, really important. When I took on this role at the end of 2016 and I, I rang up Joe to see if he wanted to be my assistant coach and the first thing we said to him was, not, we're not going to lose at Brussels anymore. We'd just been beaten 6-0 by Toowoomba at Brussel. And Joe and I said that day, we are not going to lose at Brussels ever again. So all of you have contributed in your own little way to making sure that's continued. And the headmaster said it before, that's a little bit of history. When our four years, four seasons, 17 games unbeaten at Brussels, which is way beyond any other school in the league. So that is a massive achievement, and one you should all be very, very proud of. It's something that, even though it's not a trophy, it's something you can all take away with you. Um, I'd obviously like to mention our departing Year 12s. Thank you all for your service to IGS Football. As Coop said, I had a couple of you in the eight A's a few years ago, and that was my first team that I coached here at IGS, and you've all come a long way uh, since then. You've been magnif magnificent ambassadors for our football program and our school. You've been fantastic role models for the younger players, um, not only in this room, but in the entire school. Um, I, I personally get a real kick out of it when I have a, have a year seven or a year six boy come up and ask me questions and how you guys are going and how you're their favourite players. So well done. You should be really proud of that. And I wish you nothing but the best um, in your future endeavours, be it in football and academically and whatever path you go down. Um, Grey shirts, can we get a little round of applause for the year 12s, please? Alrighty, uh, finally, I I'd just like to say a really big thank you to the parents for the your ongoing support. Um, it's been a really tricky year with COVID-19, but we did our best to um, get the boys on the field every week, and that was the most important thing. Um, so thank you to the parents for your support um, of your boys and getting you to football games every week. Uh, I'd also like to thank the football support group for their ongoing support, and I'd also like to thank all of the Ipswich Grammar School football sponsors and Spartan sponsors. So boys, can we get a round of applause for those people, please, in their absence? <laughs> Alrighty, that concludes this afternoon. I know a couple of you have got to sneak off to other presentations, but I think there's time for some photos, if possible, please. Um, we might clear the chairs out and get you to stand on the step. That's probably the best place. And then you can get some photos with your trophies and with your jerseys out and things like that. Okay? Thank you very much, boys. Much appreciated.